This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. His first words were, you know, I didn't get to say goodbye. So, I'm sorry. A local mom fights the Social Security office to bring her son back to life. A mistake in paperwork marked a seven-year-old as dead, even though there he is, alive and well. This bizarre story and the outcome is tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story at 5. The father of a young Sparks boy unfortunately died earlier this year, but a mistaken paperwork at the Reno Social Security office ended up marking the boy as deceased instead of his dad. Good evening. I'm Wendy DeMonte. I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for being with us. You know, this issue, as you can imagine, is causing many, many headaches for that seven-year-old boy, Samuel Parker, and his mother. Landon Miller sat down with the two who are still trying to get answers. They had terminated Sam instead of Mike. One problem, though. <laughs> Elizabeth McCollum's seven-year-old son, Sam, is far from being dead. In fact, it's just the opposite. You got a lot of energy, though, right? Yeah. I like to have a thousand energy stuff. February of this year, Sam's father, Michael, died unexpectedly. His first words were, you know, I didn't get to say goodbye. And when McCollum wanted to have Sam collect his survivor benefits, she found out what happened. They marked him as deceased. In fact, this issue is more common than you think. A CNN report found that 14,000 people are marked dead in air, just like Sam, every year. Elizabeth had to sign a written affidavit and take Sam to the office to prove his existence. Samuel Parker is alive and well, and he's going to Catherine Dunn Elementary School in Reno, Nevada. They also needed to prove that Sam was indeed the son of Elizabeth. Do you know this lady over here? Who's that lady? Beth McCollum, my mom. Are you sure she's your mom? Yep, and I know it for sure. As of April, the Social Security office recognized Sam as being alive, but Elizabeth says she still hasn't seen the survivor benefits, aside from the original check in February. I asked the Social Security office what they do in these situations. A spokesperson would only reply via email saying, when Social Security receives a report that a beneficiary reported as deceased is still alive, we take immediate steps to determine whether the report is accurate and restore payments. But for now, Elizabeth will continue to spend her days off here, trying to get all of Sam's benefits reinstated. And this has been really hard on your family, right? I can't spend my free time with Sam. I have to go fix this for him. Covering the story, Landon Miller, Channel 2 News. And Elizabeth told us she hopes to start seeing those checks again once the Social Security office gets some behind-the-scenes paperwork all cleared up.